now once we are done with this now inside this partials folder i'm just going to create one file let me just write here user.php okay you can give any file name now inside this user.php first i'm just going to write this php syntax let me just remove this and here i'll be closing this php syntax now inside this first i just want to require this file because inside this i have just created this database class now whatever properties i am having here i just want to extend that one okay so here first i'm just going to write here require require once and inside this i'm just going to write this database dot php now below this i'm just going to create one class and class name let me just write here user okay whatever file name i have given here i'm just writing the same class name and i just want to extend all the properties from this database class okay whatever i have created inside this file database.php i just want to extend all these properties so i'm just writing here class user extends database now inside this class first okay here you can see here inside this i'm having only this database name okay now inside this user.php i'm just going to create table name i'll just write here protected and inside this i'm just going to write here one variable table name table name and inside this i'm just going to write the table whatever i have created now inside this i'm having this user table i'm just going to write that one user table okay, now inside this user.php we are just going to create some function so that it will be useful for us okay now below this let me just write here function to add users okay we are just going to create some of the functions here then next we are just going to create function to get rows then function to get single row okay so for updation for deletion we need single row so to get that one we are writing then function to count number of rows and also we are going to write the function function to upload photo and function to update function to delete and finally function for search okay we are going to create all these functions inside this user.php file okay first let's start with this function function to add user okay here i have missed the c here it's okay no problem now inside this i'm just going to write here public access modifier so that i can access outside this class as well now here i'm just going to write this function function name let me just write here add inside this function i'll be using insert query to insert the data inside the database so here i'm just going to write this sql inside this let me just write this one insert insert into table name okay we are using oops concept so here i'm just going to write like this this you just have to write this one okay table name whatever you have given here okay variable name okay insert into table name you just have to write like this this means from this particular class i'm just accessing this table name whatever i have given here table name then inside this we just used to pass the column names like we are having email phone okay everything we are having here i'm just going to write that one then we are having this values okay this is the syntax for insert query insert into table name column name values and inside this value we are just going to pass the values okay we will be passing like this whenever we are using this oops concept and pdo we will be passing like this then we are having email okay then we are having phone okay like this we are just going to pass let me just write here colon okay this is the static data okay this is the static data whatever i enter this is the static data whatever i am writing here okay but i don't need this one we need dynamic data whenever i enter the data that should be directly inserted inside the database okay so for that inside this function we are just going to check one condition we are going to create placeholders and using that placeholders we are just going to change this query here okay now here i'm just going to write this condition okay to get the dynamic data i'm just writing this one i'm just checking whether it is empty or not before that we just have to pass one parameter here let me just write here data okay this parameter is nothing but whatever data we are inserting that we are just passing as a parameter now here i'm just going to copy this one i'm just checking whether it is empty or not if it is not empty then i'm just coming inside this i'm checking all this condition whatever i have given here now here i'm just going to create one variable okay you can give any variable name and inside this i'm just going to create another variable that is nothing but placeholder 
and also for this i'm just assigning as empty array because whatever data we are getting that will be getting in the form of array so this both the variables i'm just assigning to empty array okay fields and placeholders now below this i'm just going to create for each loop and inside this i'm just going to write this syntax i'm just writing this data i'm just defining this data as fields data as fields data as field okay individual field i'm just defining which is which will be nothing but my value okay whatever value i am getting i'm just writing that one here okay suppose if i just enter my name khanam that khanam will be the value so i'm just telling that for each individual values i'm just writing this one okay and this should be run each time so i'm just writing this value and inside this let me just copy this variable now i have already assigned this as empty array so now this will be array and for this i'm just assigning this value okay whatever i am getting here i'm just assigning that one here you don't have to get confused here whatever we are doing once you practice this one then you will understand and also i'm just going to take this placeholder i'll just copy this one and here i'm going to paste and for this placeholder i'm just going to assign the value okay now value we are just going to write like this inside this the same thing i'll just copy and here i'm just going to paste that one okay you just have to write like this okay this is the fields okay whatever we are getting like id name email and these are the values whatever we are having inside that one we are just assigning to the placeholder and this one we are just assigning to the fields okay this is how we are just taking the condition if it is not empty we are just taking all these conditions we are assigning this one because we are going to give dynamic data we don't need any static data to get dynamic data we are doing this one okay so you don't have to get confused if you want to do like this then also you can do okay based on your requirement whatever you want you can do okay now in place of this i'm just going to change this entire query let me just comment this one now below this i'll be writing this sql query and inside this i'm just going to write this one insert into okay the same thing i'm just going to copy i just have to insert in the same table name so i'm just going to paste that one now here using this implode let me just write that one first and later on i'm just going to explain you using this implode method whatever values i am getting i have to separate using comma okay so here inside this i'm just going to write this comma okay suppose if i just get khanam khanam at gmail.com so i'm just separating using comma and whatever from where i'm getting i'm getting from the fields okay okay whatever data i'm having in this fields i'm just going to copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one okay i'm just separating all the values using comma and inside this fields from this fields i'm just getting and here i'm just going to concatenate with this one and here i'm just going to close this okay this implode i'm just closing and till here it is ending here okay inside this i'm having separated with comma and here i'm having all these fields now next i just have to write this values and inside this values i just have to pass the same thing let me just copy the same thing and here i'm just going to paste let me just remove this and inside this implode i'm having all these things and instead of this i want values now so here i'm just going to write here placeholder okay whatever variable i have passed here i'm just going to write that one okay from here let me just remove one dollar symbol okay you just have to check this query again okay we should not be having any error any syntax error in this one let me just close this and i'll be i'll just check for that one insert into table name and inside this i'm having this one double colon i am just concatenating with this implode i am just separating using comma and here i am having this fields comma fields again i am having this dot closed and values again i have just opened this one implode then i am having this placeholder placeholder dot okay everything is correct okay now now we are having this query with us okay now once we are done with this assigning the query okay we are having this insert query to insert the data inside the database inside this add function we are just writing that one okay now if we are using mysql we have already seen that whenever we want we just used to execute the query okay using mysql query but here we are just going to prepare the statement so that we can avoid sql injections in our project okay now here i'm just going to create one variable let me just write here statement okay here i'm just going to write here this this we have already seen from this particular class we need all the data so here i'm just going to make the connection now okay now this connection variable we have already created inside this database.php you can see here okay here i'm just connecting that one and preparing my statement okay so for that we are having this prepare and inside this i'm just passing this sql query okay you can give any variable name okay now we have just prepared the statement so that we can avoid sql injections now here i'm just going to write here try catch block let me just write here catch and inside this i just have to pass one exception let me just write this pdo exception 
and inside this I'll be writing here dollar e. Now inside this if I have some error I just want to print that error so I'm just writing here error then I'm just going to concatenate with this one and be writing this one using get message I, I just want to display all the error whatever I'm having I just want to display that one get message let me just remove one s from here okay I'm just concatenating whatever error I'll be getting I'm just concatenating with that one and I will be displaying that one now inside this whenever I insert the data inside the database I have to perform some operation if I am having some wrong data I should not insert inside the database or else it will be open for SQL injection and everybody can hack our project or hack our website okay so for that one we are just going to check for the transaction here now inside this try let me just write here this and here I'm just going to connect to the database and here I'll be writing here begin transaction begin transaction okay this is the method okay whenever you are sending money okay if transaction is successful only then it will be received by the receiver or else you will be getting your money back if it is failed in the same way we are doing here okay whenever our transaction is successful only then we are going to insert the data or else we are just going to roll back that one so roll back we are just going to do here let me just write here this and here again we are just have to write here connection and here i'm just going to write here roll back okay whatever changes okay without affecting to my database i should get rollback and i should be getting whatever previously i was having that i should be getting here okay whenever transaction is successful only then i'll be inside this try block and whatever data i'll be writing now that will be executed here okay now i just have to execute the statement i'll be writing here statement whenever my transaction is successful only then i have to execute let me just write that one execute and inside this we just have to pass this data okay this data is nothing but whatever data we are inserting inside the database okay inside the database whatever we are inserting we are just passing and we are executing that one here once a transaction is successful okay so for that you just have to write begin transaction method once we are done with that we just have to execute that one now once we are inserting the data we need one last inserted id so here i'm just going to create one variable let me just write here last inserted id and to get that one we just have to write like this let me just write here this dot connection and inside this we are having this one last insert okay basically we will be getting suggestions here i'm not getting suggestions so i'm not aware of the spellings here last insert id okay now using this method we will be getting the last inserted id if suppose if i enter khanam seema then i can just access seema id because that is the last inserted id now below this whatever changes i have done here i have to commit that one okay yes this changes are done by me so here i'm just going to write this one this and here i'll be writing this connection and i just have to commit this changes so for that we are having this one let me just remove this and here i'll be writing this commit okay whatever changes whatever transactions we have done we are just committing that one and whatever value we are get, getting from here we just have to return that one here i'm just going to write here return and here i'll be pasting that one okay this is all about our add function inside this add function we are just checking whether the data is empty or not if the data is not empty we are just assigning the fields and placeholders to empty array then using this for each loop we are just accessing each and every value again and again and whatever fields we are having we are just storing inside this one and whatever values we are having we are just storing inside the placeholder now while writing sql query we want all the dynamic data we don't need any static data so we are writing like this insert into this table name and this implode method we are using because we just want to separate the values whatever we are getting using comma and va inside values we are just writing this one in place of values we are having placeholders in place of all the fields we are having this fields now here once we are done with this we have to prepare for the statement only then we will be avoiding sql injections now inside this try catch block i am just telling that whenever i have the successful transaction only then i have to execute the statement and i should be accessing the last inserted id and whatever changes i have done i have to commit inside the database and i should be getting the last inserted id okay whatever id i will be getting here i just want to return that one if i don't have successful transaction inside this catch block i will be rollbacking that one okay whatever changes i was having previously it will be rolled back to that one and if i am having some error using this one using this exception all the error will be displayed using this get message method okay this is all about add function okay you can just take the screenshot of this if you want or okay or else you can just refer that one or you can do along with me okay you can just take the screenshot Okay, this is our function add function we are done with this function now next function is our get rows function 